Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. After a long time, I'm able to upload a video. I was quite busy with my thesis work and stuffs in the university. Earlier, I had committed to make a video about common areas where we can rent rooms, their costs and details outside KU. I'm going to cover all those things in this video. So let's get started. If you are a new student joining KU and want to know about hostel facilities within KU, then you can check out my video about KU Hostel. Please find the link above this video and also in the description. As I mentioned earlier, to get a room in KU Hostel, you have to go through a hectic procedure, apply, go through interviews and selections. Still, only limited number of students get to live there. This video is for students who want or have no choice but to live outside KU Hostel. Now you have got two options, one to live in private hostel, two to live in rented rooms or flats. Personally, I live in a rented room. I am assuming if you have a choice, you would definitely choose your freedom and would prefer to live in a rented room. So I will be covering about rented rooms at first. I will categorize rooms to rent into two categories according to the distance from the KU and price. You will get rooms near KU and far from KU. Rooms near to KU are, as you have guessed, a little more expensive. These rooms are hard to get and are booked by the students. The only perk of this type of rooms is not having to walk too far to get to your classes. These rooms cost 4000 to above. And there are rooms that are far from KU in the surrounding area of Atais Kilo. Generally, these rooms cost a little cheap. There are plenty of houses all over the surrounding of Kathmandu University. So you will have many choices in those houses. You can get cheap rooms from 3000 to above in these areas. I live in a place called Pane Tanki, which is 15 minutes walk from the university. I chose this place to stay because I like not so crowdy and a quiet place to live by. This place is perfect for me. I have to walk quite a distance to reach Kathmandu University so I thought I could also burn some calories each day.
I share my room with a roommate and it costs total rupees 3500. Our room is of decent size. There's enough space for two beds, our clothes and belongings. We don't have to pay extra for electricity and water. Also, we don't cook anything in our room. We use electric water heater for hot water. We have to pay extra for Wi-Fi though. We share our flat with two other students, so we share common Wi-Fi. In total, I pay Rs. 1750 for my room plus Rs. 300 for Wi-Fi. That is total Rs. 2050 every month for my stay in this room. In this surrounding, you can get rooms according to your choices. Cheap rooms, houses with hot water facilities, rooms with attached bathrooms, so on and on. I have come across expensive rooms up to Rs. 5000 plus extra electricity and internet bills in this area. I think you can get more expensive rooms with more facilities. You just have to explore. If you have a group of friends then you can also get flats to stay together. These flats are usually with 3 rooms, 1 kitchen and a bathroom that cost around 13,000 to 15,000 in this area. If you are living in a single room and do not want to share your flat with opposite gender then do not worry. There are houses exclusively for female students or male students. For example, in this house, the landlord has rented her rooms exclusively to the boys only, no female allowed. Just kidding. Similarly, there are houses only for female students. In this case also, you just have to explore and find the right home. Now let's talk about private hostels. There are plenty of private hostels around KU. This girl's hostel charges rupees. 9500 per month you must share a room with three girls the hostel fee includes breakfast lunch dinner laundry service and free wi-fi at first you will be charged rupees 4000 as admission fee rupees 5000 in deposit after four years you will get 40 percent refund while leaving the hostel but if you leave hostel within four years uh, you won't get refund Likewise, this is next girl's hostel. It charges rupees 10,000 per month. At first, you must pay rupees 3,000 for admission and rupees 5,000 as deposit. It includes the same things breakfast, lunch, dinner, free Wi Fi.
this much for today. I hope my video is helpful for all the new students thinking to join Kathmandu University. Thank you for watching. If you have any further queries, you can reach out to me in my Instagram or Facebook. All the links are in the description. Have a great time ahead. Take care. Bye.